The story I want to share is about Hannah Brab. She is a 12-year-old girl who loves drama. When I first looked at the introduction of her story, I was attracted by her passion for drama. When I first saw Hannah, I didn't think she was a pretty girl. But after the video, I saw how confident she was when she performed in front of people. I think she is glowing. The most impactful moment for me was Hannah's expression of her love for drama. She believes that be confident and in yourself, and just let your dreams shine. This moment touched me and made me think about my own journey of, of pursuing my dream. This makes me think about when I was in the middle school. I also have a great passion for drama. I joined our school drama club, but I wasn't as confident as her. I didn't insist on my interests, and I gave up. Before listening to the story, I saw actors should be beautiful and in good shape. But after the story, I think confidence is the most important thing. From Hannah's story, I believe the environment she lives shape her personalities, and made me think about the importance of different activities in shaping children's confidence and fostering inclusion. However, when I listen to this story, I may not focus on Hannah's family background and any challenges she might face beside her injuries. These elements could help me understand her background and better support her growth. Through Hannah's story, I realized that as an early childhood educator, I need to nurture each child's construction of knowledgeable, confident individual, personal and social identities. Listen to each child's voice. And story is integral to my approach to create an inclusive environment. From children's own story, I can better understand their diverse needs and perspectives, and it also helps me focus on the person first rather than the demographic group they belong to. My approach to responsive listening aligns with my understanding of inclusive practice, because I understand the importance of acknowledge each child's unique background, interests, and abilities. Listening carefully to each child allows me to build strong relationships with children and create a sense of belonging. Moreover, I can promote inclusion and encourage children to understand by making the difference visible. Thank you for listening.